Well, one of the beauties of being in, in Florida um, is that you're still going to have strong rents, but you do have that, I, I call it the cherry on top of the uh, cake there, which is appreciation. Typically, typically when you're buying a uh, rental property, you're obviously you're more worried about cash flow. You want to make sure it cash flows first and foremost. You're not worried about valuation as much. Uh, and that's why the Midwest does very well. They don't go up in value very much, uh, but they're nice, nice and steady, but you still have the nice and steady in Florida and you have the added bonus of uh, states like Texas and Florida where uh, you're also going to see quite a bit of appreciation. Yep. Yeah. We're, we're, it's, the people that are smarter than me, and that doesn't say much, but there's a lot of people smarter than me saying that Florida has a very nice growth pattern for at least the next five years. Um, we do our, our growth projections more conservatively than most people think we should, but even with just a 5% growth on our properties, you know, you look out five years, you've got a very healthy portfolio. Um, yeah. And we've seen that with the prior five years and why it's happening makes sense. It's not speculation at this point. Again, it goes back to supply and demand, our positioning and being, you know, the number one exodus state right now. And, and just there's so much business moving here that affordability index stays good because the jobs are a lot better here in Florida than, than anywhere else. Yeah, Florida is a no income tax state as well. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's bringing a lot of folks in. Now, Florida has had a bad reputation for valuations. Uh, it's a it's a big mortgage fraud state, but most all of that is coming from the Miami uh, general area. Most of it, most There's, of it. Yeah, I don't I don't invest in Miami. I know people that have made a lot of money from OE uh, and and forwards in Miami. It's just not our area of focus. Yeah. So that area kind of of you know Melbourne Beach, Cocoa Beach, South to Miami. We just have never gone into that area. It's just not not really of interest. The numbers didn't make sense. Uh, it's just not, not for us. And Miami is more of a, uh, more of a, a tougher landlord area for sure. So I don't see us entering Miami anytime or anytime soon. Yeah. And that's what I was going to mention. Don't, don't, don't let those bad reputations of the Miami area discourage you from investing in Florida. I mean, we just bought a place in Florida too. We, we, we love the area. Um, it, it's just a good place to be in. We just funded a, uh, Two light industrial buildings in uh, in Jacksonville, actually. So. Oh, good. Well, Jacksonville yeah. is a great business town. Very diverse. That's why I loved it. It wasn't dependent on one industry. Uh, for for the coastal city to have the affordability index that Jacksonville has always had is incredible. Yeah. Um, and, and so I'm glad we still call this home and still still are building here. But it's definitely one of my favorite cities due to the diverse economy. It's not just one military base. It's not just you know, medical or, or, or shipping, or you know, there's so many industries here that gives it some, uh, a, a safety score. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I compare it to Charlotte. I say Jacksonville and Charlotte are, uh, a lot of light except for Jacksonville has better seafood. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> they should, right? Yeah, they should. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Okay. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. Always good to talk with you guys. Let, let's uh, let, let's put uh, Jim's URL back up again uh, one last time there. If you're interested in investing in this uh, five-year fund, it's uh, uh, an income fund. Uh, is that the place to go to get information on that? Yeah, they can just reach me, set a call with me, and we'll get them in touch with the fund side of our business. All right, excellent. And if you're interested in holding properties yourself, uh, then... Uh, obviously, also talk to Jim about uh, possibly buying some of those uh, turnkey properties as well. Again, thank you so much, folks. Yeah. Thank, Thanks for having thank me, you. Guys. Take care. All right, take care.